each petal so perfect, it's hard to imagine that these edible blooms are actually painted with chocolate and so tempting to try for the at-home baker, right? Mandy Merriman is here to explain how to get a chocolate sculpture atop of a cake. These are works of art, they really are. They are so intricate, but they are so easy. I was so surprised and very excited about this because we all wanna make a beautiful over-the-top cake, but we don't wanna to have to put in all the effort. So this is super easy to accomplish. And you have to know by now, you say super easy as we're staring at this <laughs> like amazing <way>. creation. <laughs> we're thinking, Mandy, we know you're a truth teller, but are no, you sure? So skill this. level really is beginner. Super beginner. Okay. All you have to do is be able to scoop chocolate into spoons and scrape it off of a knife, well, and you're all good. I can scoop chocolate into my mouth quite well, so I figure <laughs> too, I am well equipped for this. I'm skilled. Excellent. Then we are all set. Okay, set us up. So first things first, go find some of these chocolate or candy melts. They come in lots of different colors. Does brand matter? Um, brand doesn't matter. I really like the Wilton ones just okay. because they have lots of different colors. Yeah, the colors are fun. They're like they fun. They come in these oh. bright electric palettes. Absolutely. I wanted to make a peony cake, and I knew that I needed that really beautiful coral, and so that was perfect. So all you do is you can use one of these little like Wilton melters that just melts the chocolate for you. Or well, you can just, handy. yeah, it kind of keeps it nice, same temperature while you're working. Right. Or you can just stick it in the microwave and give it a stir. Okay. So that's how we prep our chocolate, all just for about a minute. I want one of these. I, I want to be so like good. a chocolate <laughs> over my cauldron. A chocolatier, yeah, so <laughs> yeah. please do. Yeah. And so all you need for these ones is you need a just a regular plastic spoon. And then, so this is a cute idea I got from someone named Erin Gardner on Instagram. She makes cute cakes like this, but I took it to the next level by using a soup spoon from Orson and Gigi. Oh. And what you do is this is for that center look for the peony, and then you have this side spoon for the outside. So regular ones. spoon regular for the ones center that kind spoon. of is taller yep. and more structured. Two different kinds. And Just then look at you adding the soup ooh, spoon. I'm excited. Okay. So I love the soup spoon idea. So all you do is you're going to, ooh, let me grab my soup spoon here. So you're gonna just scoop it up into your spoon like this. Okay. Give it a little tap, uh -huh. give it a little scrape, set it on the paper. She was telling me Done, this done. Is easy. Stick Boom. it in the freezer that was and like a spoon they drop slide right, right out ah. into these cute little petals. So okay. I love it. I love it. And so let me show you how you stick it on your cake. You yep, you're gonna. You can st let it sit out for like 10 minutes, or I just speed up the process. Yeah. And stick it in the freezer for less than five. And right. They're ready to go. Wait mm -hmm. Just get it going. <laughs> so let's show you how to put it right onto our cake. I took this regular cute little this six-inch so cake, cute. and all I did with this was just take some green buttercream, and I just used yeah. my can spatula. Can I just tell you behind the scenes? We went over here just mesmerized, <laughs> just watching, just breathing down. Oh, it's so therapeutic for me. She just paints and paints. It's my and favorite. Paints. So these were just favorites. And strokes. I have absolutely best job in the world. So okay. yeah, so you just little streaks up the side just to give it those the greenery that's gonna support our petal on top. Yes. Take some buttercream, put it in a piping bag. Mm -hmm. You wanna be able to stick those petals to your cake. So we need some glue here. So we're gonna use buttercream as glue. Okay. And what I start off with are those little pink guys in the middle. The tall ones. And I just stick them in the middle together like that just to create the so inside of you it. You kinda need a blue. mound, right? To give it some stability. A little bit of a mound just to make sure you have enough. And then I'm just gonna slowly add these little guys see outside, yeah, and I can change colors to the next coral. Just You're to like I can do whatever I want. Bleed that in. Yep. This is my cake. And then we're gonna start with those soup spoon ones. Okay. And that creates the the signature kind of coral peony look. Uh huh. And you're just gonna keep sticking them around and around and around until you just get this big beautiful flower on top. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. It so. really is. The, the impact is stunning. <laughs> it's I, people saw it and they're like, "What is that? How did you yeah. make that?" And I'm like, "Spoons, guys. Spoons, That's all it was. Spoons. So you're gonna make a bigger." peony than this and just kind of make it go as much as you want. You could stick it in the middle and have it expand. So that's how you do the peony one. I like it off center, how you've kind of uh, just scooted off it to just the to the side. A peony, probably the most sophisticated flower Love out there. It. This cake so would beautiful. serve well at like a baby shower, right? A bridal mm -hmm. shower, a grown up birthday cake. All over the place, some kind of garden party, anything like that. Um, super simple to do. Lovely, all right, what's idea number two? Next is we have our daisy cake, and I love daisies. They're happy. Oh. As, as Meg Ryan said, and you've got Mel, they are the happiest flower. They are the friendliest flower. They are. I love it. And we so here, here, all you man. do is you use a paring knife and that's it and your parchment paper. So I didn't put this in here on purpose because I want to be able to have that just parallel to the side effect. So I'm going to stick a little bit on my knife here. I'm just I'm a little confused. A little parallel knife. I'll show okay, you what okay. we're doing. So stick a little bit Frost on there. Frost the knife. Tap it. You only need this much okay. and then you're going to turn it over. Uh -huh. I'm not going to press down. I'm just going to hold it slightly and then pull it back. 
What? And then you let it dry for like <gasps> less than a minute. There's your flower petal point. <laughs> and then you get your cute little shape here without these even are trying. Thin. Then. Yeah, they're super thin, super intricate, but I mean, my goodness, so stunning. And so let's get these on our cake. Okay. Okay. I'll show you. So I just let that dry for it's super fast, mm -hmm. just just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So let's practice on. This is a pretend cake, but I like to practice on them. So we'll do a little ring around the outside. Do you have these in stock in your kitchen? I pantry? do. I practice on them the and cake form. <laughs> it's so I I love it. It's it's nice to be able to do it without having. Hold on, does this mean all the cakes over? we see on your Instagram may not be real cakes? Only one of them isn't real, and it's a yellow one. I get that question during my We're classes. They're like, secrets. wait a sec. And yeah. I'm like, no, 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 this is all real cake. I promise. Okay, okay. So I'm going to just slowly line up the outside, and I'm going to go all around the outside, and then I'm going to do a plop in the middle, just like this guy right here. Okay. And then I'm going to add my little sprinkles. Oh, my on goodness. On top? Oh, yes. Well, so this just one, you know, we talked about the peony being a little more sophisticated, even grown up. This one lends itself to more whimsy. Just all oh, so cute. Can you Just imagine fun. if you did like a sunflower with the bright yellow oh. and then the brown in the middle? It's the mound of sprinkles in the center that I oh, think really yes. makes it. So once you get it all the way around the outside, you're going to do one more layer just like ours over there. Yeah. And then you're going to do a big plop in the middle. So pretend like we have all of our little guys sure. around the outside. And then I really love these sweet Apluta sprinkles. And I just stick them in the middle, just kind of try to keep it in the central up. area. We'll peek over here. And then it mounds into the effect. center right over here. So yeah. you just like, just a little bit. So that's how you do the daisy. And then you smush mashed it around smush the side to all complement. The way. Mm -hmm. Just so I have like the sprinkles at the bottom and the sprinkles on the top together, just I to tie it. it all together. All right, 30 seconds. Tell us about those purple Perfect. poppers. So these ones, I took my little squeeze bottle like this uh -huh. and I did a little squeeze in the middle. Okay. And then what I did next is I will like squeeze a little middle, pull it to the side and then you get these cute little petals you just kind of go around and make your little circle oh they're perfect for the cupcakes because they're little yeah little babies and then you do the same little pop in the middle and then use these little non parallels to stick in the middle suddenly or melting chocolate is our favorite cake accessory seriously can you imagine all the fun things you could do ah, with this awesome. i love it <laughs> all right three great ideas to top Thank off you. your cupcakes or cake toppers this spring and summer as flowers are blooming in your yard now they can bloom in your kitchen too what's coming up on your website <laughs> lots of summertime recipes we are unleashing a lot of recipes i've been in cookbook mode and now i'm able to post a lot more on my website so lots of summer recipes um, lots of fruits lots of berries things like that nice. I love it yeah we're still waiting for the cookbook <laughs> waiting, 2018 in May <laughs> soon. but in the meantime you can dial her up at baking with Blondie for all of these fabulous cake ideas and we will link you over from our website to studio5.ksl.com also there on the recipe tab you'll see today's video tutorial if you want to try this out at home uh, copy that technique in the comfort of your own kitchen you can dial us up right there on our website